What's up guys, this is James White with Freak Interviews bringing you ASEAN TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Now today I've got the Arctic Air Ultra. It's the follow-up to the original Arctic Air that came out about a year ago. This one supposedly with two times the cooling power, but does it really work? Let's find out in today's review. All right, so this is the contents, not, not a lot to it. You got your plug and the unit itself. Now, one thing that they say here in the for best results card that comes with it, which I don't recall the original saying this, is to pre-soak the filter. Looks like this is the reservoir where the water goes. This looks a little bit different also. Some controls on the top, so uh, I'd be curious to see how this compares to the original. Here's a filter. I did see this. I saw these being sold individually, I think, for 10 bucks. I don't recall how long this one lasts. I know that my friend Kathy in the south, where it's more humid than here in Las Vegas, this uh, this didn't last too long for her on the original, so I'll be curious if this works as well. Something else I noticed also is the original had a USB cable, I believe. This just has a regular outlet, so using it outside, I was able to use the original outside with just the power bank. I don't think this is gonna be as easy to do with this particular configuration. Definitely some differences, but my primary concern is that if it actually is two times colder, like they say on the box, right there. So first thing I'm gonna do is go pre-soak the filter. They also say what you can do is place it in the freezer for even more cooling power, which I think that's actually a good idea. So first I'm gonna do is put it under water and see the temperature of the air coming out like that, and then I'm gonna put it in the freezer and see what the difference is. They say to lightly soak it. I would say that's lightly soaked. You're supposed to fill that to the max fill line, which if you can see that is right there. Didn't seem like a lot of water. Doesn't mean it won't work though. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Okay, we're all plugged in. Here is the power button. Ooh, we have, we have air, we have air. Okay, I'm feeling it, it feels nice and cool. Let's see how cool it is. All right, so here is the original Arctic Air with the Arctic Air Ultra. You can see there's some design differences. The Ultra looks slightly smaller. This one's a little wider. Once again, the Ultra allows you to adjust the angle where the original Arctic Air did not. The original Arctic Air plug has a USB connector, which the, the new one does not. All right, so they're both plugged in, both full of water. Let's see how they compare. Well, I definitely feel like this one blows much stronger than that one. All right, they've been going for about uh, maybe about 10 minutes now. I'm gonna try the old temperature test to see if I see a difference. I feel like right now this fan is just much stronger. It may not be technically cooler, but let's find out. Showing us about 62 degrees. Depends on where I aim this at. So, you know, 60 degrees. Let's try the original. Oh, look at this. It could be the fact that the this filter was put in water why it's blowing cooler though. Ultra, original. I'm pretty sure in my original review, I pointed out that I didn't like that you couldn't adjust this one. So maybe they watched my review and added this as a nice feature because that was a, one problem I thought and it was easy to fix and they fixed it. I thought the fan wasn't blowing as hard in the original. They fixed that as well. So I kind of like that they've actually taken the original and improved on it. This card that came with it says to go to arcticairfaq.com, which I went to, and they show you the difference between the Ultra and the original. Now they're saying that the, the Ultra has a two-stage cooling, two hours more runtime, 10 versus eight, a washable sponge filter versus a paper filter, an easy slide-out drawer for the filter, and an adjustable airflow grill. Those are the improvements over the original. All I think are actually good improvements 
And the other thing is that the fan is supposed to be increased power, which I definitely feel that as well. Oh, and also anti-spill for the water tank. So it looks like they've taken some things that people complained about before and implemented them, which I commend them for that. So uh, hopefully this pans out and these changes make a big difference. The other thing is the price did not change, it's still 40 bucks. The instructions say you can get the filter wet and put it in the freezer for even more cooling action. So I just pull out of the freezer and I'm gonna see how cold it really gets. Let's check it out. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes for the water to start circulating and then I'm gonna test it out. That is cooler. I would definitely say that's cooler than it was before. Yesterday it was getting in the high 50s. So now we're getting uh, 49, 50 degrees. But let's try one more thing out. A lot of people discover with the original Arctic air, if you put some ice cubes in the reservoir, you'd actually get colder air. So now that I've got the frozen filter in there, let me put some ice in the actual water reservoir and see if I can go even colder than 49 degrees. This is one of my ice cube trays. I reviewed my ice cube tray comparison, which you can see up above, but let's see how it goes. Let this circulate for a minute and then check this and see what the temperature difference is. All right, this has been going for a few minutes here. Let's see if we got even lower temperatures than we had before. Oh, look at this, 46 degrees. So between 46 and 50, depending on where I'm aiming that. I do think that the adjustable vent, the ice cubes in the reservoir and the frozen filter make this a much better product than the original. Now, as you may recall from my original Arctic Air review, I compared it against a cheap $10 Walmart fan to see what the difference was. And I kind of enlisted the help of my emo hair to see how well each one blew my hair around. All right, it's emo hair 2019 Arctic Air Ultra versus the Walmart fan. We're gonna test it out and see which one blows harder and, <laughs> and which one is cooler. All right, unlike the original Arctic Air where the Walmart fan was stronger and the Arctic Air was cooler, I think the strength of the two fans is about equal. Can you see my hair blowing in any direction? I feel like it's about equal. And this one is colder. And you can adjust the angle of it. So I think that, I think that in 2019, the Arctic Air did better on the Emo hair test. So according to the instructions, there's only two settings for the light. There's basically high or low or off. All right, let's take a look at the night light features here. And I've got Bailey here inspecting these for me. See now with the, the watch out Bailey. With the ultra version, you can only go high, low and off. That's all you get. On the original, you can actually change colors. So I kind of think the original is a little bit better as far as the light itself goes. That's one area I don't think that is better is the light. I like the ability to change colors. This isn't really over. Watch, if I turn this off, it's not real bright. It's not real bright. Now let's switch. That one much brighter, right Bailey? All right, so I do think that the Arctic Air Ultra is a big improvement over the original. It addresses some of the problems I had with the first one. One was that you couldn't adjust the vent, they fixed that, the fan is stronger, and they actually have a better system where the filter can be washed in the dishwasher, can be frozen, can be put underwater to make it colder, so they've made some huge improvements. Is it gonna cool down an entire room? Probably not. But to have it sitting there right in front of you, I think that it is cooler than a small fan. So I think that in that respect, They've done a good job improving the original. There's a couple of things I didn't do as well this time around. The light isn't quite as good to me and I like the USB plug in the original over the one they have here. Other than that, it's better in all other aspects. Have you used the original Arctic Air or the Ultra version? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.